So this poem is about high school. I went to three different high schools, so it's not just Galileo for some familiar faces from Galileo. <laughs> so anyway, I'll just go. During my high school life, every day I prayed so I can hope to go to heaven. But then it's up to God to choose my own resurrection. I don't know if you can tell, but I've been living a threatening life. So why should I live if life's already living hell and every day's a fight? I'm sick and tired of hearing the same thing every night. Gunshots, clips clicking, cricket spits, dogs barks at dark, darks, barks at dark, swinging swings in the park, winds blowing too hard, and car wheels gripping streets too tight. Every night it's a fight living in Oakland with high heights when my rights are just drop rotten down. Now here's the highlight. I was never innocent to begin with. Take a look. I stayed in school so hit, to hit the books so squares could get the clue that a quiet thug like me could break the rules. After school, I was another youth leader, activist, another revolutionist, a tremendous leader, a spoken word reader. I'm the reaper, deadly lyricals. My punchlines are so hard, if one survive, it's a miracle. School square, so pitiful. But then again, I'm presidential. I get people mad when they meet a book smart, street smart kid like who's highly independent and could say a lot to get people offended. I guess it's just my rights. Come on, it's the First Amendment. I had three personalities, nightmares, dreams, and reality. My nightmares is someone who everybody hated, my dreams is someone who I wanted to be, and my reality, I just can't be him. Until finally, I discovered that I could take all my nightmares, turn it into dreams, and reform it into reality. And this is how I really define my own split personality. Depending on how people are mad at me, I let them to meet who wants to, uh, you know what? <laughs> Let me just start all over again. So every day I pray to God to say thank you. Every minute of my life, every second, every time, my heart's ticking, my brain starts clicking, and everything I'm doing, I spit it. Spit it, hit it, every little thing I say just comes out of my words and my life. Everything's a blessing, I'm thankful for everything I've done. Life is so miserable. I went to John O'Connell High School with all the Hispanic friends, and all my Hispanic friends just made fun of me. Why? Because I'm Filipino. And yet, they thought, it, they thought I was Hispanic just because my last name was Hispanic. And when I grew up, just realizing that life was so great, I realized I made mistakes. I made so much, but all those mistakes I made made me who I am today. I'm thankful. Yes, in a way, every day in life is a blessing. All my friends, family, people I meet, everyone around me is always going to be a blessing. Yes, it's a test. I suggest people around me stop judging me. If I could just say what I got to say around people around me, please just do it. Say it. I can just make it stop. My voice is so powerful. People just keep thinking that my words are weapons of mass destruction. And if it's that, then let it be. Just keep assuming. That's your assumption. If it's me, then let it be. See, I am Aaron Villanueva. Nobody knows me. My parents don't know me. But yet, hey, look, I'm accomplishing so much in life. Yes, someday, mom, that I'll make you proud. I will attend UC Berkeley. And if I could, I would. I would not let that stop me. I would not let anybody negative, no matter what, who they are, whoever what they say, no matter what, even if I live in open, by these stupid thugs around my streets telling me who I am and who I'm not, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to say whatever I got to say. This is nothing but just a freestyle anyway. So thank you. Ooh.